Okay, now it's playing. Okay, so I just finished watching Legend of Korra, chapter, well, episode 11, and... Break. Are you serious? <laughs> I know that the fandom is older, but I'm like, we're still, we're, we're still sensitive. This episode just fucked me up real bad. Yeah, I'm about to, yeah, I should have put a warning. Yeah, there's gonna be swearing, a lot of me saying the word fuck, because that's really all I can say about this episode. Just fuck. Fuck. Like, and, but they're, uh, like with any, like, because, you know, Legend of Korra is uh, marketed as a kid show. There's still, like, all the funny moments. And I like the moments, you know, with the Mako and Bolin staring the, stealing the airship and, you know, the hug. I'm like, oh, this is so cute. I don't even ship anything in this thing anymore. That's not, that's not, that's not Gene Kai. I mean, that's just, that is, that's all I ship. That's all I ship. It's like... That and Bobo, I'm like, Jean Kai, you guys are so perfect. You just, oh my gosh, can you not? But, yeah, um, normally I do kind of write a bit of a script whenever I'm doing this kind of thing, but I'm just like, this sort of thing just fucked me up so badly. And I just, though I do love how they kind of like, you know, diffuse the tension with, you know, Mako's grandmother, because she's old. And, um... She kind of reminds me of my grandma, especially. It's like, you're a rather muscular for a girl. Oh, I hear that all the time. I know you can't really see them that well because there's, you know, really shitty lighting. But, eh. Where's... Come on. Show my muscle. See, I got this thing going on here and that thing. I don't know what that is, but I got it. But it's like... <laughs> and you can't just bring Iroh on us like that. You gotta give us, like, hello, Avatar Korra, and then fade to black so we can, like, prepare ourselves for the next, for the next time we see Iroh. You just can't just plop him in there. I mean, I'm just like, oh my god, what? Oh my god. Not again! I wasn't prepared for this! I haven't been prepared for any of this! Uh, that was kind of like my fault, because I, I, I normally uh, wait until after uh, I think about a thousand people have seen it, and then I like, you know, scroll through Tumblr, and like, okay, just gotta prepare myself, prepare myself, and I don't know, was there a leak yesterday? I don't know. I kept seeing things about, it's like, nope! As a quote on Tumblr, I said, nope, literally every Legend of Korra fan. I'm like, is that for today? What? I know it's called Ultimatum, but I'm like, how much can they, how much can they cram into 22 minutes and like 43 seconds or however long the episode was? I wasn't paying attention to the bottom. I, all I just knew is like, oh my gosh, and then it cut to the credits. I'm like, you can't do that, but they did. Yeah. I'm 22 years old and I'm still f f crazy, crazy about this. And I wasn't expecting to be feeling this many emotions in this episode, even though I probably should have expected it. But all I can really say is just fuck. That's really what I yelled out when the episode ended. Just fuck. And <laughs> Thing. Okay, no, it's up there, and I'm only wearing a bra right now. But just everything in this episode, oh my gosh. Just four minutes of me saying, oh my gosh, this is great. I can't wait till the next one. But why did they have to make Denzin say that? I'm like, oh, I'm fearing for all of these characters. It's like, because, right? They're not really afraid to kill off characters. I mean, they uh, kill off secondary characters. Even though Tencent isn't really a secondary character, he is a main character. But still, they're... they're I'm sorry, I was playing with my little Sokka pin with whatever the fuck this is.
and my hair folder thingies. But yeah, that's um that's that's my reaction and kind of review. Just holy shit, really, that's just it. Just holy shit. Jesus fucking Christ. What? Oh my agony. Just all of the spirits. <laughs>